Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be playing a brand new game on the channel called Raid Shadow Legends. Now I'm sure you guys are familiar with this game. It is a completely free to play game with over 800 champions. It's a super cool game and they were nice enough to be the sponsor of today's video. Now I actually have someone helping me out here to talk me through a little bit of the game as I am not too familiar with it myself. But we have someone called Deadwood Jedi, whose channel will be in the description below, who's going to help us run through a bit of the game. Now, before we do get into today's video, I do want to let you guys know that if you are a newbie, you haven't played Raid Shadow Legends before, we have a bunch of free stuff for you. By clicking my link in the description or using my QR code somewhere here on the screen, you're going to get a free light swarm by just creating an account. And then after you reach level 15, you're going to get another free character in Juliana. Also, if you use one of the three promo codes in the description below, you can get a variety of different characters. Now, don't worry. We talk about all these characters in the video. So if you want to get a better understanding of them, just wait a little bit and we will talk about them all. But for right now, let's get in to today's video. All right. So let's start back around at the gotcha aspect of the game because gotcha is OK. So gotcha is something I'm very familiar with because of Genshin Impact. So there's a lot of gotcha and Genshin Impact. And I know there's gotcha in this game, too. So if we go to our summon portal section over here, um, can we maybe elaborate a little on some of the different characters we can get um, from the gotcha system here? Oh, yeah. And exactly so many characters in this game. I mean, we have like over 800, I think, in the game at this point of a variety of different rarities all the way from common to legendary i think we actually have mythical champions now it was a whole different aspect that's recently added but yeah there's so many different champions and we have obviously various shards that can help you pull um you know the different the different rarities that you want to get but generally most of them offer the same uh opportunities right so a lot of different varieties of champions you can get but you don't have to have the best champions to be successful that's always you know a sticking point it's like you don't need that you can actually be really successful uh, just playing with epics only. I'm actually doing a free to play with only epics right now, and it's been, you know, it's going really well. Now, I'm, now I want to try out the gotcha for myself because, as you guys can see on the far left there, I got five void shards, and I'm gonna try to pick up one of these two characters I can get here. So let's do twenty thousand. Yeah. We're gonna get a legendary. Or no, we get a m epic this time. That's what we're looking for. We're gonna see what we can get. We're gonna see you have a chance of getting rares, epics, or legendaries. Okay. Um, but they'll all be void, which is nice. Dilgul's actually a really good one. Void champions are always, always generally better than uh, non-void champions. And Dilgul's a good example. As a rare champion, he's actually quite, quite good. Good. Let's go again. We got another 20,000 coming up here. Let's get lucky this time. Uh, another rare. That's okay. What are we getting? Uh, what? <laughs> Stitch Beach, <laughs> not the best champion. <laughs> They're not tell. all good. They're not all great. <laughs> I could definitely tell just by looking at him. We go again. Come on. <laughs> There's got to be one good one in here. Oh, another rare. That's okay. We got. Oh Bogart. my gosh. So look, you don't, you, you don't you probably aren't aware of this, and maybe many of the viewers aren't, but this might be one of the most god tier rare champions in this game. This is an absolute coup of a pull right here. Coldheart is insanely good because she's one of the best damage dealers for bosses in this game. If you click on that orange skill there, you'll see that she does a hit and its damage is based on enemy max HP. Um, hey, we'll take that. I'll take a good rare. Best rare in the game. Hey, I'll take your word for it. Let's go again. Let's get yeah, another good yeah. one. Dang, that was massive. Come on. Oh, you got another. You got an epic. Andrissia, nice, Ooh. nice. Be able to get an epic at this stage is really good too. She's got some nice support skills. I think some CC ability too. So that's a very, very solid pull. Come on now, part of the high elves. This looks like kind of a defender character for sure. Yeah, increases defense. Yeah. That's what I expected. She kind of looked like that. We got one more pull here. One final one. Can we get somebody to finish it off? Somebody good? We got another rare. Ooh, who's that? Ooh. Tree Shield Knot. Tree Shield Knot. This is, this is one of the newer factions, the Sylvan Watchers, right? Which is kind of like this wood elf kind of nature druid type thing. Mm. But this guy's really fun because he can revive your champion. So if anybody dies, he'll bring them back to life. He's a good healer, protector, like really nice pull. We'll take it. That's good for me. I will 100% take that. We got, we got a really good start on our pulls here for sure. And something else that we're going to want to do is now that we kind of have the champions we wanted, we got, you know, that defender, that healer, 
um, good characters that can do damage. Now we want to like take those characters and kind of experience some of the combat of the game. So we can start with the camp campaign here and we can kind of move on from there. So we're going to, we can try level one here. We got, we're going to try build a team here, right? So we want to build or make a team that can take on uh, these low level enemies, I imagine, to start out in the game, right? Yeah, yeah. Shouldn't be too, shouldn't be too taxing right away, right? I mean, at this point, we could just bring you, you know, try different champions and yep. bring them out. Yeah, try some damage dealers, see mm -hmm. what they can do. Uh, and you kind of go through. Is it time? Okay, and now the combat is really interesting in this game. You have an auto feature, which we can just kind of go through and, you know, I can lax for and watch my my allies just kill the enemies and kind of sit back. Yep. We can go two times, one time speed. And then we also have just the regular combat mode where I can choose turns for myself and kind of decide, but we probably don't need to do that this early on. We can just auto through and sit back and watch as we kill the enemies. It's it's pretty pretty easy. This early on, your teams are gonna be your teams are gonna be really strong and able to take them down. But you can see, you know, the enemy's actually putting some debuffs Ooh, on your guy, yeah. but it's not gonna not gonna stop you all. You're gonna be able to take them down pretty easy. She took a little this bit early damage. on. Pretty easy stuff there. We can even go back and edit our team and do it again if we wanted to, but we don't need to do that. We beat it easy enough. Yeah, that's that's a bit of the combat. Now, do we want to go over some of the other combat forms in this game, perhaps? Like the dungeons, arenas. Now, I don't have all these sure. unlocked, but we can still talk about them. Yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's you know, this account's really early in the game, so it's going to be a, have a hard time going through and, you know, actually showcasing all of them. But absolutely, like, you know, the dungeons, there's like, you know, 12 different dungeons or something like that in this game. Um, and they all offer 25 levels on normal, another 10 on hard. And we're anticipating another, you know, 15 at some point, or another 10 at some point coming in hard eventually. So there's so many different levels that you can go through here. They all offer different gear sets or different resources to rank up and level up your champions. Um, and they all have different bosses with different mechanics. So, you know, getting creative and making sure that you have the right champions for the right content is really important. Not everybody's gonna be equally good for all areas of the game. This is why you don't have to have all legendaries to be successful, right? It's about bringing in the proper buffs and debuffs to make yourself successful. Obviously, the arena is a big part of it. We have three different levels of arena, including a live arena. There's a 3v3 arena, a uh, classic arena, which is always fun where you get to compete against other people. That's a, a real fun thing to actually, mm. you know, do early on is, you know, fight against everybody who's also new to the game. Uh, you set up a defense right there. Mm -hmm. And basically, that's something for the for everybody else to hit. Generally, really quick, you can go ahead and do it if you want. Oh, could I, I, I can just be... fight this guy? Oh, I have to set my defense first. Okay, so yeah, set your defense first. What character should I use for my defense? Any recommendations? Well, I mean, you you could pick any four right now, okay. but I would say Tree Shield Nod is a really good one. Gifts Card and Andrissi are really good, and then bring in one damage either. Yeah, Dilgol okay. or Blood Feather. Yeah, that's great. I think that's Perfect. a good combination right there. Good. Okay, and then we go to battle, and we can just straight up battle battle him. Okay, let's go auto or well, let's just start it let's just start it let's see if i can beat this level one player or oh, he's level nine. Oh gosh okay so we just gotta start setting up here do you recommend auto or is you think it's important to kind of yeah. use your own abilities it's always fun to use the skills in arena i think that's one of the one of the spots where auto is you know because it's an individual battle you never quite know what you're facing yep. Um, so you can try try a couple things. Oh, see what ooh. happens. That was good. That did Not only lot. do you hit hard, you place decreased turn meter and decreased speed. This is gonna allow the rest of your champions to take their turn, which ooh. is really really nice for you. And now he's almost dead. We've almost won. He's weak to that ability. And now we just do one more hit, and I think yep. we should just win. Oh, come on. Almost. Almost. One more hit. Got him. Nice. Yep. That was fun. Let's go. <laughs> we won our first battle. Uh, player one, three, four. Congratulations. Nine, four. We'll take it. <laughs> I am happy about that. Might have been a four versus one, but we got it done. We got it done. We're creating a clan here now. We we kind of created one earlier. We got the Kekvin's clan going here. We got a uh, Kekvin's clan here, and we got a little code here now. Uh, can we talk quickly about how maybe some of my members can join up with the clan, and we can get it going here, starting our own clan, and maybe doing some of those clan boss fights? Absolutely, yeah. Well, if you're looking for a clan, basically just go into the clan tab, right? And then if you're not part of a clan, you'll be able to find one pretty easily that way. Um, and basically you just 
you, it brings up a search bar and you just type in, you can type in K3K0, right? The Kecko, or you can type in Kelvin's clan. Either way, it should pull your clan up to the top um, of the list and people will be able to find you. And then you, they just click apply to join. And the clan stuff is super important. You know, when you become part of a clan, you can start taking on the Demon Lord clan boss, which get, this is actually my expertise in the game. Uh, but it is, you know, it gives you the best rewards in the game. And it can be very fun to fine tune your team. Awesome. So that's, hey, if you guys want to join my clan, make sure, go to the clan menu, put in Kecko, join my clan today. I want to see you guys all there. Now, we do have a couple promo characters, which if you guys use my QR code on the screen or click my link in the description below, you can actually get some pretty cool characters. Now, I want to go over some of the characters that we're able to get is so Preserver. This is one of the champions that we can get from one of the codes. Now, tell me a little bit about Preserver. Yeah, Preserver is a solid champion. Uh, she can be used. I think one of the best values is actually she can be used to fuse uh, other uh, champions, uh, which is, you know, really important thing. There's some static fusions you can get so you can get some legendaries. You can get some good epics, right? Uh, even a mythical champion. Uh, but she ha offers a single target freeze with her A3. It's really good for controlling problematic enemies and just locking them down her a2 actually provides some survivability giving yourself like some healing and shields which mm -hmm. is really nice pretty solid little champion to begin with we like those characters oh i like this one what he is mordecai he has like a Mord black hood kind of creepy looking character so this is another one that we can get from one of the codes now tell me a little bit about mordecai because he gives me kind of a mysterious vibe mordecai is amazing he's really one of the best champions uh as an epic that you can get especially early on in this game he brings something that very few champions bring which is an aoe hp burn i think he's the only epic in the game that can do that um so he's actually extremely useful to start off with um, but his A1, you know, doesn't really do a lot. The A3 is really where it's at, where he gives you an HP burn AOE uh, and just places it on enemies. So it's really effective. And he gives increased attack to your allies, which is also really helpful. So he's a buffer. And then he's got, uh, yeah, it's got some turn meter reduction with the A1. And then the A2 gives turn meter boost for your allies, which is really massive. So he's a really, really nice champion. Offers a lot of viability in a few different areas. Ooh, okay. Orange hair. I like it archer too yeah. okay kellen strike let's talk a little bit about her but Kel kellen's generally going to be a damage dealer and a debuffer check out all of his skills there uh off to the right and each one's going to kind of you know offer a little something as far as uh you know what what it offers right like the a3 i always start with the last skills right because like that's so important the passive ignore skills um and the or ignore shields i should say but the a3 does damage and does more damage and more debuffs that are out on the enemy which is really nice because he places debuffs that a2 that uh, you know offers a decreased speed ability uh or debuff i should say and decreases turn meter so he's really good for controlling the enemy and when they go and then that a1 offers a weakened debuff so the more you pair him in his team the more debuffers you give him not only will he help with that but then his damage increases because of those debuffs right one of them uh you just cut you know uh moused over actually which is light sworn right here mm -hmm. he's super great right this is one of my favorite champions he has a decreased attack ability he's got turn meter reduction and he's got survivability with an increased defense and a revive on death ability which is just Ooh. super good um yeah, yeah 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 so like yeah that's super cool right when you somebody dies they pop right back up with a, that buff on them which is really valuable decrease attack and decrease speed i mean those are really really there's nothing more valuable to keep you alive than decrease attack right For Lower, sure. not taking as much damage is huge For sure. uh, and the decrease speed is a really nice bonus mm -hmm. too and then yes he has a triple hitter on that a1 decreases turn meter so he's really Ooh. valuable in you know a variety of areas of the game juliana actually juliana. right uh right above light sworn there yeah yep. she's one of the best damage dealers you're going to come across in this game and provides a lot of utility now you know th we're talking early parts of the game right as you get later on champions you know some champions get stronger or weaker in relative terms but juliana early on is incredibly valuable um brings a lot of turn meter and a lot of debuffs right we were talking about kellen adding debuffs to make him stronger that's what juliana is going to bring for you here uh she has an hp burn ability Ooh. which as we already talked about is really effective mm -hmm. um, it's really good against the clan bosses um that's a really strong one and then and she removes all buffs from the target too which is really nice and then that a2 um i believe offers a bunch of i think it's a 
poisons that are offered on that, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. Increased yeah. crit rate. Ooh. And poison. Yeah. That's a good buff. Yeah. Yeah. It's really nice. And it doesn't say it in the description, but it's a double attack, and each attack will place a poison debuff. Anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of our video for today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you want to try Raid Shadow Legends for yourself, make sure to click my link in the description or scan my QR code on the screen here to get two free epic heroes. And also don't forget to pick one of the promo codes in the description to get another free epic hero. And once you're in the game crushing all the content with your new epic heroes, you can join my clan the Kekfin clan. So anyways, guys, that's going to be all for me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.